so I'm just standing in my yard trying to well, cop launch basically. And these caps have been out for about 20 minutes at this point. I've been out a couple times and they're still out there. And I thought that they were just trying to, uh, like, maybe help a civilian in need. You know, maybe they're, you know, helping somebody change a battery or something. Keep an eye on this one right here. This is the one that comes over and talks to us. Keep in mind that my camera is at, like, a times 20 zoom right now. So, also, pardon the shakiness and the jankiness of it. Um... So I'm just out recording these cops from about 150, 200 yards away, minding my own business. And uh, you can see it on this one right here in the blue. You can see it dawn on him that he's being watched. Look at the look on his face. He just makes direct eye contact with me. Like I even look up from my phone at this point and make eye contact with this cop. And uh, at this point I thought it was funny. I figured there's no way possible that these cops are going to possibly come over and talk to me about anything at all. I mean, like, why would they? I'm standing, like I said, almost 200 yards away. You can get a load of good old boy right here. He keeps on looking over at us, and, uh, oh no, the whole situation's just funny. I, uh, I do apologize in advance for the upcoming very shitty camera angle when I was talking to uh, Detective Douche. Uh, I was making eye contact with him and not focusing on what my phone was doing, and even though I was in, uh, I had me zoomed out at .6, like a, like a fisheye. There they are right there, all three of them are looking over at me. And here comes Detective Douche. Now, I will say right now, before we get into the interaction of the officer, that I did make a couple mistakes I knew as soon as they popped out of my mouth. It's been years since I've done any auditing. So forgive the couple of mistakes that I did make with this officer, but here waddles Detective Douche. And here you'll see this officer trying to just ID me and asking me questions about something that I don't even have anything to do with and using typical scumbag cop tactics. Sorry about the camera angle. What's that? Your name's Chris? Negative. Chris Negative. I don't answer questions, bud. I'm just videotaping. That's not me, bud. Can I get your name? I don't. I've been standing here. I don't even know what I'm quote involved with. I don't have any. He's just claiming that you're the one who owns that truck. And that your name is Chris Hill. That's not my name, and I don't own any trucks. Do you know that? Do you know who owns that truck? Or? Nope. I just thought it was interesting, so I was filming. It is. I, I don't have any reason no. to believe you're lying to me. I think he's lying to me. No. But is there any way I can document who I talk to so I can try to prove him wrong in my report? I, I will go as far as telling you my first name is John. John? Correct. I know. I'm me about the entire situation with the truck, and he's claiming that you're the person that gave him the truck. And if I can prove that you're not the person you're claiming to be, then it's kind of a slam dunk for my case, and it shows that you had nothing to do with any of this. So I feel you. I mean, I said I don't have anything to do with it. My name's John, man. Like that's it's the best we got right now. Like, sorry. Every time I back, I back the blue until it happens to me, man. You know, like that's that's where it's at, man. I'm sorry. I'm but, but it's not happening. To you. I'm literally <laughs> just trying to make sure that I can prove that you lied to me. I I feel that. But then you know my name gets ran through David and blah blah blah, and that's not something I feel like dealing with right now. I'm not worried. I have warrants at all. Like that's not. Warrants aren't my concern. My concern is just. All I'm doing is engaging in a constitutionally protected activity right now, Chief. Yes, yes. You know, that's, I literally, like, I have nothing to do with that. I thought it was interesting. I thought you guys were helping somebody out fixing a car. Like, this is going to be a goodwill blog. We're recovering, we're recovering the stolen vehicles over here. I feel that. So. I mean, I feel that, brother. But. 
I appreciate it. Am I free to go? Yeah, you never not. I'm just making sure. I don't want to get in any trouble for not being free to go, brother. So. You live here? Yeah. Do you live in one of these trailers? I do. I have absolutely fuck all to do with that truck. I was inside playing Super Mario until I decided to come out and have a cigarette and saw you guys what I thought was a goodwill gesture helping somebody fix their truck. I was going to make a goodwill post that not all Mac cops are assholes. That was my whole point today. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not the person you're looking for, brother. I appreciate it. Have a good day.